everybody, this is Hobbit, and today I'm going to be putting a kill switch on my uh, camper's battery. If you wait for it, you'll probably hear why I'm doing this. Wait for it. Why is it taking so long? It's been doing it for hours. I'm going crazy. Unbelievable. When I need it to, it doesn't. It'll do it any second. What the heck? I've listened to this for hours, the last several nights, and now it won't do it. Of course, you start the camera and things go to hell. I tried to wait until the uh, the battery chirped or the uh, the detector chirped, but uh, such is life. You turn the camera on and things go to hell. So I got this kill switch at uh, Academy. It's uh, 10 bucks. This is a, a really easy project and it's something that's really uh, important if you have a camper um, because all of the monitors and things in the camper run on 12 volt battery and they will continue to run even when the camper is being stored and it'll kill your battery. So uh, this way um, you can kill the power inside and uh, it won't drain your battery. All you need is uh, the kill switch and um, this is a really cheap one. I had another one on the other camper that I sold. Um, those usually run like 20 bucks or something. Um, so I'm just, I'm just gonna go with this one. And you're also, you also need a, uh, a four gauge battery cable um, and probably a screwdriver and some other stuff. The first thing is to uh, find out where I'm gonna put it. I decided if I can find it, Of course, now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. All right, I'm just gonna put the uh, the kill switch on the lid. And so, because of this switch, um, let me open it really quick. Here's the switch. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this on the, the lid. And um, the shape of this thing is like this. And it has a surface mount here for some small little uh, bolts. So what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to trace this out and, uh, and cut a hole in the lid and, uh, and fit that all in. And I'll probably use maybe some, uh, some caulk or silicone or something just to, to seal it up. And uh, once I get the hole cut, then I will uh, get all the, the cables hooked up. I've got the, uh, the hole cut. Right here, and uh, this just uh, just fits right in this hole. Press it in. It's good and snug. So now I'm going to mark these holes, drill some little uh, holes for some uh, little bolts, and uh, put a little bead of uh, of uh, silicone or something like that just to uh, to seal it up and then I'll hook the wires up. All right, I've got the plate mounted on the uh, the lid of the battery box. You can see I put some silicone on there. Um, get the little, some uh, little lock nuts on there. And uh, now we're going to hook the wires up. So basically there's an on and off. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of hard to see. There we go, on and off. So what you want to do is, is it comes with a little key, um, and it just pops in like that, and you just turn it, it's off right now, on, off, on, so anyways, um, you want to uh, hook up the battery cable to the negative or the black wire and then hook it to here. And it's basically a way to just kill the, uh, 
kill the battery. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna hook it up and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I just got it all wired up and I've got the uh, negative there on the on terminal and I've got the uh, battery cable. I'm using a red wire just because I had it already and I didn't wanna have to buy a, a black one, but <clears throat> I've got the um, the four gauge cable connected to the, uh, the off terminal and the negative terminal on the battery. So now when I flip the switch to on, it'll connect everything and uh, should be good to go. All right, I've got it all uh, back together and um, I've got the, uh, the key in. This key just pops right out. It's got a uh, rubber seal right here and then it's got a cap, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, I just hooked up the, uh, the electrical and um, I hear the converter running and so the battery's charging and should be good. Um, once the battery's charged up, I can uh, turn the switch and kill the battery and then I won't hear any more chirping. So problem solved. Hope this helps. Um, as always, like, subscribe, share, send us flowers, all the above. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.